Hello, I'll be showing you how to create a graph in Excel, a graph using the data in this table that looks like this. So the graph will have a primary vertical axis and it will also have a secondary vertical axis. It'll have um, a column graph and it'll also have two line graphs that need to be read using the secondary vertical axis. And like all good graphs, um, the uh, both vertical axes uh, need to have a title and uh, an overall title or a chart title has to be there as well. And this graph will be uh, based on the data in here. Now, this table contains data in a rectangular structure, um, set of cells, but also the table contains column headers or descriptive labels and um, uh, row headers as well, which also are um, you know descriptive labels. Now, the first thing you need to do when making this sort of a of a graph. Um, it is to use a table that's structured well, and mine is, and you need to highlight everything, descriptive labels and data. Click on insert. I click on column, uh, uh, two-dimensional clustered column. So that's very easily and very quickly created. Um, the next thing I do is um, I click on just one click to select all the columns uh, for the mean monthly maximum temperature. I do a right mouse button click and on this pop-up menu I choose change series chart type. I click on line, click on OK. Now I do exactly the same thing with the mean monthly minimum temperatures. I left click once on any of the columns, select the entire set or series, right mouse button, change series chart type, line, OK. Now I'll click on one of the line graphs, do a right mouse button and I'll try to um, generate that secondary vertical axis. And I'll do that by clicking on Format Data Series, Series Options, Secondary Axis, and there it is there. Um, this line graph here also needs to use this secondary axis. I'll just left click once to select and then right mouse button click to get that pop-up menu so you can format the data series, secondary axis, close. Now, the line graphs here seem to have been pushed up um, with respect to the, the columns, the green columns. Um, and this was done by formatting the axes. So what happened was, I um, selected the primary vertical axis, did a right mouse button click, format axis, and I changed the minimum, sorry, the, the maximum from a, a 70 to a 90. I formatted the secondary axis, just clicked, right clicked, format axis and this time I did change the minimum to something smaller, minus 10. And it appears as if uh, those line graphs have been uh, pushed up. The, um, the months there have got a different alignment to here. 
type of graph I'm trying to create. If I just stretch that out, um, the alignment is the same. Now, the columns there seem a little bit thicker. Um, it's just simply a case of left click to select the columns, right mouse button click, uh, format data series, and I just reduced the, um, the gap between the columns. Starting to look nice. And now what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll click here on layout, go to axis title, and choose a primary vertical axis title, rotated title. I'll click here on the formula bar with that label uh, highlighted, mean monthly rainfall in millimeters. Press enter. I'll also in layout chart title, oh, sorry, axis title, uh, secondary vertical axis title, rotated title. Click there on the uh, formula bar, mean monthly temperatures in Celsius, lower case O, upper case C press enter. Now I can change the uh, the alignment of this and do a right mouse button over this label vertical axis alignment text direction rotate second option there close looking good I'll click and then I'll to select and I'll click again just left click and then highlight that lowercase o, right mouse button, pop-up menu, font, superscript, OK. Looking very nice. And then uh, a chart title is required above the chart. Um, I can click to select. And I think we are done. This graph looks virtually the same as this graph here.